Hello, hello, hello. I'm Janice and I hope you're all doing well. We are currently crossing the Anzac Bridge. Just had dinner with my family. We went to Toddy's again because that is one of my parents' favorite restaurants ever since we went there last year. Anyway, I'm en route to the airport right now. We are going to be heading to Taipei. I'm going on an airline that I've never been on before. I'm flying premium economy today on China Airlines and I was able to look at the menu beforehand and the, and the food looks pretty good. So of course, even though I have had dinner already, I am going to, I'm gonna have more food. Okay, check-in process was super, super quick. My gate is 9, boarding time is 9.30. Two hours to kill, which is good. I've got a bunch of work that I haven't finished, so I will be using these two hours very efficiently. But yeah, there's a lot of kids here today. I wonder what's happening. I'm so curious. Like, I really want to go up to them and just be like, where are you guys going today? But uh, you know what, I'll, I'll let them be. Okay, I've just got seated at my seat. The configuration is 232. Two. There's currently an empty seat next to me. So hopefully this stays empty throughout the flight. First impressions, people here are super, super nice. Once I stepped in, like they talked me through the menu and then they, they sort of like asked me what I wanted and they introduced themselves. Okay, let me just show you guys what is in my surrounding area. We got given this little uh, goodie bag. We also got a blanket. We also got slippers as well. We also have these earphones. Pause it if you want to read it, but okay, guess which one I chose. Chicken with steamed rice or beef pasta. So in the little amenities bag, we have hand lotion, earplugs, sanitizer gel, toothbrush, and an eye mask. And not too long after, we took off. So the seat slides and the back doesn't move so no one behind you will get annoyed if you recline. And the food arrived not too long after we took off. Surprise, surprise, I got the option with the rice. So it started off with the prosciutto melon salad, then the chicken and rice. It was fine for what it is. And finished off with fruit, Tim Tams, cheese and ice cream. Ice cream was really creamy. I don't know why, I can never sleep on planes, so I just watched movies to pass the time, and before I knew it, it was breakfast. So I chose the egg noodles for brekkie, and when my food arrived, I kind of wish I chose the other option. So there was fruit, yogurt, bread roll, and these noodles. I prefer the dinner option. And not long after breakfast, we arrived in Taipei at 4.15 a.m. local time. Guys, I have just arrived in Taiwan and this is my room for the duration of my stay. I'm going to talk a little bit about why I'm here in just a bit, but first order of action, I really want to give you guys a room tour. It's a pretty nice size room. So as you can see, this is the bed and then there is the closet. Right. Yeah, a laundry bag, what? ah, and some slippers. This is, I don't think this opens up. I think this is just decoration. There's a coffee machine. There is a desk, which I really, really appreciate because in some of my previous days, there weren't like a good size desk to work on. So this is perfect. There's also a couch as well. Like I can have guests over. Ah, they have, um some fruit here there's a kettle yes i remember in hawaii there was no kettle and then and then it's the bathroom there's a bathtub showers hello but the thing i wanted to draw your attention to is this toilet look they've got all these different buttons oh they've got band-aids 
cotton pads, alcohol swab. Oh wow, they've really, oh, I appreciate that so much. So I am here in Taiwan with the Taipei Economic and Cultural Office in Sydney. And I'm here for a few days. I have some activities that have been planned for me, but I do have some free days as well. And I hit up some of my friends and they give me some things to check out. So these spots are great. I'm gonna feature all of them onto my video. And of course I'll share that list with you guys as well. And so yeah, right now it is 6.45 in the morning. I didn't get much sleep on the plane, not because the flight wasn't comfortable. It was a very comfortable seat. It was just that I can never sleep on planes, but I feel fine. So, oh my goodness, guys, look at this. <laughs> They've got like full on stationary set right here. And look at the plugs. I brought a couple different plugs, but it looks like my uh, Australian power plugs is going to fit into this. That's amazing. So yeah, the hotel does have a breakfast, um, like a buffet breakfast from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. So I'm gonna check that out. You know, I, I'm just a sucker for buffets. The plan is to not sleep and not take naps at all. And then tonight I'll sleep a little bit earlier and then so my body clock does not get impacted. So no naps, no naps today. Okay, I just checked out the buffet spread for breakfast and it's it's pretty incredible. There's like a like a cold section and then on the other side there's like a hot section. And I got myself some kanji because I don't know, like right after getting off a flight, I just want something really hot. And they have like a whole range of different like cold like accompaniments to go with your your kanji they also have a bread station where you can toast your bread and in terms of eggs you get to choose like how you want your eggs done they give you like a little menu thing and you'll you can also have an omelette as well i'm actually very excited about my plain kanji okay so i didn't realize that Cash is so prominently used here in Taipei. Wait, I'm just about to get on the train. I'll get back to you in just a sec. Okay, so the first thing that I did when I got to Taipei was I got myself a phone SIM card and I got this right at the airport before I even went through immigration. If my memory serves me right and I'm a little bit sleep deprived, but I think it was around 500, so like it came to around 23, 24 Aussie dollars. And I think for me, I didn't quite appreciate how uh, prominent cash is here in Taipei. I was thinking I could get away with using just like my credit card for most things. I didn't bring like that much cash here. I tried to pay for this which is like the equivalent of like an Opal card, I guess. With my card, but they only take cash, so. Also, random fact of the day, this guy just came up to me. I think this guy is probably old enough to be my granddad. He just came up to me and he was like, what do your parents feed you? How did you grow to be so big and tall? <laughs> I just laughed, I didn't know what to say. Okay, anyway, right now we're en route to get our first proper meal of today. I'll let you guess. What is on my mind right now? I'm kind of craving it. Okay, I'm here about to have my first ever bowl of beef noodle soup this trip. I'm super, super excited. Everything looks absolutely beautiful on the menu. And I got their, pretty much their signature beef noodles. So in the menu, you can kind of choose different types of noodles. They have a Japanese ramen type noodle and they also have a, like a knife cut noodle. I was asking like, is the one in the picture the knife cut one? They were like, yes, so I've gotten that one. It comes to $230. So that's around, 100 is around 5 bucks, 200 is around 10, a little over 10, it's like 12 bucks. Yeah, I'm excited. Oh, 
All right, guys, my noodles have just arrived. It looks absolutely beautiful. It's like steaming hot and I could smell it. Let me try the broth. That beefy flavor and essence just like permeates through the entire broth. So in terms of toppings, we've got three thick slices of beef, some carrots, we've got green veggies. Okay, let's try the beef. Yo, this beef is just, I don't know if the video does it justice, but it's just so incredibly tender. The broth is a light broth, but it packs a punch of beef flavor. And you've got like that slight kick of chili at the very end. It's really good. My friends told me to try this place, and now I'm telling you, like if you come to Taipei, you need to get yourself a bowl of these noodles. There's so much on my list of things to eat in Taipei, but I think this is one of those places that I probably will have to come back again before the end of my trip. Just done with the noodles. If I record the interior correctly, I think it fits about, I'd say 18 to 20 people. You know, I was sitting at the bar seat, there were, yeah, I think 18 to 20. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I am feeling so sleepy. Um, I think that bowl of noodles kind of is slipping me into a food coma a little bit. So I think this is the perfect excuse for me to go and hit up one of the cafes that I've got on my list. One of the things that I noticed uh, when I was planning this trip was that cafes don't open until like 10 or 11, which is so different to which is so different to the ones in Australia because in Sydney, they open at like six. Okay, I've just arrived at this place called Coffee Underwater. The lighting is absolutely horrible. I apologize for that but they do like a range of different specialty coffees and like on their menu they have like signature things which seemed very delicious don't get me wrong and i see a lot of people ordering stuff like that as well but for me like right now i just want a hot cup of coffee so that is what i got It is a delicious cup of soy latte. And the latte art, perfect. Anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog right here. There's so much more Taiwan food and exploring and adventures coming. So please stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching till the end. There will be a new video next week, so I'll see you in my next video next week. Bye! Okay, so the place that I want to head to, it's not open till 12 p.m. So I decided to go to like 7-Eleven to see like what was being sold there. And by the way, the 7-Elevens here remind me so much of the ones in Japan. But as I was browsing, I came across this. I see this a lot in one of my favorite family vlogging channel, Hangry by Nature. And I was like, I gotta, I gotta try this because they keep posting about this. So here we go. I'm not actually 100% sure what this is, but we shall see. This is like a drinkable ice cream. It's very refreshing.